U.S. military and weapons are all over the world. The dangerous force continues to expand into Eastern Europe, approaching Russia. Today, I have given formal notice to Russia, in accordance with the treaty, that the United States of America is withdrawing from this almost 30-year-old treaty. The United States frequently withdrew from treaties in the fields of arms control and non-proliferation, including the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, and the Treaty on Open Skies. Even the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, the only effective arms control treaty between Russia and the United States, is also at risk of being unsustainable. Since the end of the Cold War, NATO has repeatedly broken its promise not to expand eastward, challenging the red line drawn by Russia. I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's like we we had, we had entire we had entire training courses. At the NATO base in Estonia, even the low-speed Apache attack helicopters can reach the Russian border within 30 minutes. Satellite capture the image of a British Royal Navy's Type 45 destroyer approaching the Black Sea in June 2021. Russian warships try to track it and drove it away. NATO fleet conducted military exercises in the Black Sea in July 2021. What is going on here is that the Russians are reacting to the West's attempt to make Ukraine a Western bulwark on Russia's border. And the core of that strategy is NATO expansion. Commercial satellites catch U.S. military and weapons swarming in Mielec Airport in Poland, about 110 kilometers from Ukraine. Since the crisis escalated, the number of flights at Reshev Airport, close to Mielec Airport, has also increased rapidly. Through satellite images, a large number of U.S. weapons and equipment transported here could be seen. President Biden could end this crisis and prevent a war uh, with Russia by doing something very simple, guaranteeing that Ukraine will not become a member of NATO. Back to 2014, satellites recorded the riots on the streets of Kiev. That is somebody who has helped plan coup d'etat. Yeah. Not here, but you know, other places. Uh, it takes a lot of work. Ukrainians had hoped to link toward Europe and the United States for development. However, disappointment ensued. On the contrary, it led to industrial decay, economic recession, talent loss, and east-west confrontation in the country. The Black Sea shipyard which was used to build all Soviet aircraft carriers, declared bankruptcy in 2018. And tone of a serial production plant, which used to be one of the best aircraft manufacturers in the world, almost suspended the production. We don't care. The United States and NATO, we do not care how many Ukrainians die. Not civilians, not women, not children, not soldiers. We do not care. It's become a great football game uh, as long as we win. 